Pad Seiyu. This Thai dish is very versatile, has a very complex flavor profile, but don't let the long list of ingredients scare you. From the time I opened the refrigerator and the time I was eating, it was less than 20 minutes. So let's get started. For this dish, we're going to need one chicken thigh sliced bite-sized pieces, three ounces of fresh rice noodles, one hot chili pepper, one eighth of a white onion sliced, one quarter of a green bell pepper, one quarter of a red bell pepper, one ounce of basil, one ounce of Chinese broccoli, or you can use regular broccoli, one egg. For the sauce, it's going to be one teaspoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one and a half tablespoons of gold mountain sauce or dark soy sauce. If you don't have either, just add an additional tablespoon of soy sauce and one green onion for garnish. Add oil to a hot pan. Once the oil heats up, you can add your chicken. Get your chicken in one layer and let it sit for two minutes. Now you have a couple choices here. You can cook the chicken all the way through, take it out, set it to the side, add it back in at the end just to warm through, which is what I would do if I was using chicken breast. Using chicken thighs, they can take the long cooking process, so I just cook them about halfway in the beginning, set them aside, and let them gently cook for the rest of the time. After your chicken is cooked for about two minutes, go ahead and turn your chicken over. You don't have to worry about turning every single piece of chicken over. The chicken is going to stay in the pan and cook throughout the entire process, so in the end it will be cooked all the way through. After the chicken is cooked for about two minutes on the second side, push the chicken to one side of your pan, and you can add your garlic and your peppers and your onions at this time. You can add a little extra oil if you feel you need to to get the cooking process started on those. I personally like a little texture in my vegetables here, but traditionally the vegetables are pounded with a mortar and pestle to make a paste, or they can be put through a food processor or a mini chopper. But as I said, I like the texture of the vegetables, so I tend to chop them so I have something to, to bite on. Let this cook for about two minutes, and after two minutes, go ahead and stir everything together and let that cook for another two, maybe three minutes. At the end of that two or three minutes, go ahead and add the hot peppers and the stems for the Chinese broccoli. The stems for the Chinese broccoli take longer to cook than the leaves, so we cook them separately, get them started a little earlier. This would also be the time to add regular broccoli if you do not have Chinese broccoli available. After this is cooked for another two, three minutes, push everything to the side, add a little additional oil to the pan if you need to, and crack your egg. Allow it to set up for just 10-15 seconds before you scramble it. And then once you scramble it, allow it to sit for another 30 seconds. Then after that 30 seconds, go ahead and mix it in with the vegetables. Throw the vegetables on top of it and scrape it underneath and mix it. This will allow some of the egg to go to the top and actually steam, which will make it nice and fluffy in the end. Let this cook for about two more minutes, and you can see we have some really fluffy egg pieces sitting on top of this mixture right now. That's what we're looking for. Now it's time to add the noodles. We're using fresh rice noodles here, and this is where things can get a little bit tricky. Because rice noodles are so delicate, you have to be very careful, otherwise you break them. And if you break them, you know what? No harm done. It's still going to be delicious. So once you add your noodles, go ahead and add your sauce. Gently stir everything together to coat the noodles with the sauce. Try to be as gentle as you can, but as we said a minute ago, there's no harm if the noodles break. The dish is still going to be delicious. We are using fresh rice noodles here. You can use the dried and then drain them before you put them in the pan. The fresh ones do take a little bit of extra work because they do come in a big block and you need to separate the layers and then separate the individual noodles from each other. It is a little difficult. It does take a little time. But in the end, it's well worth it. They have a much better chew and a much better texture than the dried version. Allow your noodles to cook for two to three minutes until most of the sauce has been absorbed. Then it's time to add the Chinese broccoli leaves. 
Once you've added those, again, gently fold them in to allow them to steam and wilt. Once those are incorporated, now you want everything to sit. You want to develop a little char on the noodles. You don't want them to burn, but you do want a little color on them. In order to do that, all the liquid needs to be evaporated. You can tell by listening when that happens. It goes from that wet frying sound to that dry sizzle. Cook it for about two minutes on one side, and then give it a gentle toss and a stir, and give it about two minutes on the second side. And as you can see right here, we are developing some pieces of char, and that's going to add a really good flavor to the final dish. After these two minutes, turn the heat off and or remove the pan from the heat. It's time to throw in the basil. You don't want to cook the basil, just gently wilt the basil with the residual heat in the pan. Fold that in, mix that in, stir that in, just to get the basil incorporated. And now that you've cooked it, it's time to serve it, eat it, and enjoy it. I'd say you, it looks amazing. It looks intimidating to make. The list of ingredients is long. But in all honesty, the most difficult part of this recipe is just taking the time to separate the rice noodles and trying to be gentle so you don't break them. You can see some of the char on the noodles. You can see some of the char on the chicken. You can see the fluffiness of the eggs. And when you bite into it, the noodle has a really good chew, and the sauce has a very complex flavor. It's not too salty, it's not too sweet, it's not too spicy. It's perfectly balanced. And by not overcooking that basil, you get the really fresh sweetness of the basil. This dish was delicious, and in all honesty, I actually made it again the next day just because I enjoyed it so much. I hope you'll enjoy it as well. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day.